हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश लिटरेचर क्लासरूम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच अ पोएम द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज डेफोडल्स बाय विलियम वर्सवर्थ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ दिस पोएम क्लियर बट बिफोर गिविंग द क्वेश्चन आंसर लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द पोएट एंड द पोएम द पोएट इज विलियम वर्सवर्थ ओके William Wordsworth was an early leader of romanticism in English poetry and ranks as one of the greatest lyric poets in the history of English literature. Now, let me tell you something about the poem. The poet was wandering all alone in the natural landscape. Under the trees on the bank of the lake, he encountered a large numbers of golden daffodils. The daffodils were fluttering and dancing in the breeze. The daffodils were continuously stretched in an endless line along the margin of a bay. Ten thousands of daffodils were swaying their heads in a way that appeared to be dance. The dance dancing waves in the nearby lakes were being overshadowed by the beautiful daffodils. The poet was extremely happy in the company of gleeful daffodils. When the poet lies on the couch in a pensive mood the images of daffodils flash in his mind the bliss of solitude is experienced by the poet his heart which is filled with pleasure dances with the daffodils come on let's come to the question answer first question is bring out the main theme of the poem daffodils clear again i am reading out the question bring out the main theme of the poem daffodils answer Influence of nature on man is the first and foremost theme of the poem Daffodils. At the beginning of the poem, the poet was floating high but was emotionally low. But at the end of the poem, the poet, in spite of being on the couch, was in a high pedestal emotionally. This was because of influence of nature, which was so everlasting for the poet that he derived. pleasure and peaceful whenever he remembered that experience impulse of feeling is another theme of the poem the poem tells us that the impression of the beauty of nature was so strong that even after many years their memory was more than enough to lighten his mood and gave him their company when he was alone in his room he has been he has described the beautiful picture of daffodils shining waves dancing flowers which became a part of his beings this shows the influence of nature clear now let me tell you the next question okay what is the bliss of solitude how does the bliss of solitude take place clear now the answer is bliss of solitude means the blessings of loneliness The poet says that when he is alone in vacant and in pensive mood that is when he is not doing anything particular the daffodils which he had seen in the valley flash upon his inward eye and fills his heart with pleasure he enjoys the bliss of solitude by lying on his couch and relishing the sorry not relishing release relishing okay once again i'm reading it out he enjoys the bliss of solitude by lying on his couch and relishing the memory of the daffodils he had seen the other day of the valley the thought of the flowers fills his mind with pleasure and he calls it a bliss of solitude next question what is meant by jocund company which jocund company is the poet referring to why does the poet find it jocund answer jocund company means cheerful company the poet is referring to the jocund company of daffodils the poet finds this jocund because the poet is filled with joy on seeing the golden daffodils next question which wealth is referred to by the poet explain how the wealth was brought to the poet answer the wealth which is here referred with the poet is the wealth of joy and happiness which actually comes from happy and fond memories when the poet saw a host of golden daffodils by the side of the lake beneath the tree okay up to this much in my next video i am going to bring something new until then goodbye